it's Tessa here. I'm making a card today with cute little Claire and I'm going to watercolor her so I'm stamping her with Stazon ink with uh, the Ranger um, watercolor paper. I'm using the smooth side so that it's not too lumpy and bumpy. And these are my Kiritake watercolors. I'm just going to use those today. And I'm just painting kind of fast and I am leaving a little bit of white space because I like the look of the white space here and there. I'm just going to go over each little spot with kind of a light wash and then go over to fill in with a little bit of darker color after I do that. And you can totally clean up some of the paint if it gets too thick or you make a little mistake with some paper towels, so keep that handy. For Claire, I'm using a mix of the lighter browns in this set. There's kind of a nice reddish one and a little bit of a darker brown one. And I've mixed them up on a little palette so that I get the color that I want. For the strawberries, I'm using a mix of the red and pink. First I kind of layered the, red, the pink on there and I wanted it a little redder, so I added some more red to it. So what's nice about watercolors, you can just layer it into this color you like. And a little purple for her bow and her skirt. Little pink on her cheeks. And then the rest of the strawberries. I'm going to two tone the green too. Now it's time for some embossing. I've got my Claire Strawberry Dye, the Surface Tag Dye Starter Kit, and the Surface Tag Dye Santa add on for the speech bubble. I'm cutting this part out of some nice pink polka dot paper. I'm just going to splatter my card base. I've embossed it with some circles. And now to put it all together. That's what the Santa's add-on does. It can be a beard or it can be a cute speech bubble. So I'm just positioning where I want my sentiment to go and I pulled these stickers from my stash. This one's from Bella Boulevard. I thought that hello was really cute. All right, now that it's, I know where it's going, I'm going to stamp it with the stays on ink. And this is the same watercolor white cardstock from Ranger. Even though this is a sticker, I'm still going to add some foam adhesive to the back just so it'll pop up again above the rest of the sentiment there. And I decided to add some more color, so I'm grabbing the, the reds and the pinks that I used for the strawberry. I'm just going to paint over the very best friend part of the sentiment. Add a little splatter to it. Position it just right. Now I can add it to my little panel here. I uh, got some paint on there, so I decided to flip it so I could cover it up.
Now I'm adding Claire with some dimensional adhesive as well. And of course her strawberries. I'm glad I painted too. And of course, I didn't put that one on right, so I gotta fix it. Okay, let's see how she looks on the card. I think it's cute, but it still needs a little more. I'm gonna add some more pattern paper, this time stripes. The pattern papers are from Lawn Flan. Then just a little strip of this glimmery this gold, gold glitter cardstock that I cut into a scallop shape. So I'm going to add that. It's looking better. Still needs one more thing though. Twine. I went through a phase where I put twine on every card and it's still one of my favorite things. But I don't put it on every card. <laughs> It's going to finish it in a bow. All right, now I can finally add Claire. More foam dots. And there it is. Voila. And there's little Claire and her strawberries. And here's a picture of the finished card. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.